Hey there, Full Moon Beaver, and I've hit my milestone of 100 YouTube subs. Thank you so much, my little beaverlings. I love you all. Anyway, back to my steampunk slash medieval house. So what we're going to do here, we're going to fill in this upper level. And we are going to put in some sandstone. Just keep it nice and light. No, that's stone brick. More mistakes again. Anyway, sandstone in this texture pack does look very, very nice. But at the same time, it's still very light, just like the white wool. So it's going to keep that nice light feel. But feel free to experiment. There are plenty of different blocks you can use. You could even use, I don't know, say green wool. You know, it works nicely in the steampunk texture pack as it's got a gold trim with it. If you're using the dark green wool, that is but it can look completely different in different texture packs, so just play around, you know, you've got the the build here, and if you followed it, you know, you, you'll end up exactly what I've got. Oop, wrong way around, we're going into the walls here, but first we'll uh, put in some windows and a floor. But yeah, you know, feel free to change it around a bit, you don't have to copy me exactly. If you do, then that's cool, I don't mind. I even had uh, a friend's lad invite me to his world today, so he could show me that he'd uh, built it, but he'd put his own little twist on it, which I thought was really neat. So, you know, it's nice to see people appreciating what I'm doing, you know, and I appreciate everyone who views my videos and drops a sub my way. You know, it's motivation, to be honest, to get me to keep doing these things, and it's something I'm enjoying. I really am. I love putting out these YouTube videos, and... I know it's a saturated market, but, you know, I still like to give my own little twist to everything. Anyway, what we're doing here is just filling in the floor, and with these wooden blocks, you can keep them in, you know, keep it, have a nice little pattern in there if you want, or you can knock them out and just put your wooden planks in, or whatever you want to use for the floor. Like I say, feel free to just change things around a bit if you want to give it your own little style. Uh, I will be doing more tutorial videos. Um, I'll probably do it in steampunk for the walls, as I've got some very nice designs. Anyway, I'm going to leave that bit so we've got room to put our ladders up in a bit. But uh, I can also do a tutorial for some uh, bit overzealous there, some uh, towers as well. Some not too bad at making towers. You know, if you've seen my Beavercraft video, you know there's quite a few in there. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you how to build in the way I've been making them. I'm not saying they're the best ever, like, you know, but, you yeah, know, they're pretty popular with people who've uh, had a view. So, so, if you're watching, see what I've done here. Some nice straight lines with the wooden planks. From the centre all the way down to the next load of wooden blocks that make up the top level there and then I've put spaces of two in between each column and we're just going to fill these up with white wool and I have some of my houses I've put windows in in place of where some of the white wool goes again totally up to you what you want to do with it but uh, for the purpose of this video We'll uh, just stick the white wool in. So we're going to stick some torches down here now. In the recesses. Just to give a bit of light in here. And what we're going to do next is chuck in some dark wooden planks so there's the grass and whatnot in there. So it looks nice and funky when you come in. I would say you can always put a little pattern in there, you can 
put some chairs and tables in your bed or in there, your brewing stands, whatever you want. You want to have a like a little, little basement area. But uh, yeah, it's, it's entirely up to you how you decorate the interior. I'm not going to show you the interior in this video. And interiors aren't something I like doing by choice. Uh, if I'm playing survival, then yeah, I'll do an interior. But with creative, I tend to just leave it and chip away at it every now and then. Anyway, we'll stick some ladders up there so it's a way of getting up. And given the, the space inside, if we start putting staircases in, it does take up a lot more space. And ladders aren't hard to use anyway, so you're not going to struggle too much. So what we're going to do right about here... We'll stick a door in. Which one should we have? Well, that one looks nice. We'll put that one in. And we're going to need a lever for this. I prefer the levers to the buttons. And aha! Right, what we're going to do here? If it doesn't look a bit daft. Here we go. Oh, maybe if I went in the door, it would help. And we'll leave there and okay, we'll try this side. No, nothing. Oh. That's the only problem with these iron doors. You can't just open them. Um well, as much as I like it. We'll try something else. I don't want to try a new door because I do like the look of this. We'll try a pressure plate. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Put one in there. Brilliant stuff. That's it. The only problem with these iron doors. You can't open them by hand. Anyway, that's all done now. And all we've got left to do is this one up here. And we're going to stick some torches in here. So it lightens the place up a little bit on the inside. So I'm quite happy with how this works out. I mean, you've got plenty of space if you build to these specifications to fill it all out and put what you want in it but you know when you build the base you don't have to do the 7x5 blocks like I've done you can make them bigger you can make them smaller you know it's, it's plenty of opportunity to toy around with it it's, it's an, a nice little uh, build I think and if I could place blocks properly at first time of asking it would be so much easier to to follow but uh, you know I think this this be an easy tutorial to follow. If you're having trouble with it, let me know. You know I can work on it if, on the next tutorial. You know, take the advice from people and whatnot. Let's put some blocks in there. But uh, you know you can if you want to build bigger, it's going to be easier easy for you to scale up. You know, mess around with the roofs a bit, give them a different look. You know, it's and you'll end up with a fantastic looking building hopefully and uh, you can make yourself a nice little medieval town anyway that's your medieval slash steampunk looking house depending on what texture pack you use if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment tell me what you think and there'll be a little subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the video thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon goodbye